Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Hydro set that came out in patch 1.2. Uh, we're mainly going to be showcasing Child's DPS on it, but we're also going to talk about every other Hydro character and if it's good on them, because this set is really good, it's best installed for Child, and very good on other characters too. As you guys can see, I did take it out for a spin in Abyss, and I managed to crit over 500k. So initially, I wasn't really sure how to make this video, but what I think I'm going to do is talk about it with every character, but mainly focus on Child and do a showcase of how good the set is on him, because it is. Because first of all, a lot of people wanted an updated Child Guide, and also it's a set that's kind of made for him. It's so, so good on him. And I want to show it to you guys, show you the potential of this new set, which is really good. So I will be doing a showcase with Child, and while also talking about other characters and all that stuff. I want you guys to know that I've been streaming like every night on Twitch, so come follow me if you want. That being said, let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to start by talking about what this artifact set does. Now, keep in mind, we're going to be talking about its usage on every character. We're going to say every Hydro character. We're going to say if it's good on them or not uh, and why. Keep in mind, I will be mainly focusing on Child for most of the video, especially the showcase, because it does look like the set is made for him, especially the four piece, where it just makes him so, so good. Uh, like Child is already an amazing DPS, was already amazing before 1.2, and now he's even stronger because of how good the set is. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be showcasing to you guys. But anyways, let's talk about the set. The 2B set is just very good. It gives you 15% Hydro damage bonus, which is just insane on any Hydro character that wants to deal uh, even any amount of damage. Then the 4P set is insane for a character like Child, because once you use your elemental skill, which is your E, um, it'll just increase your normal and charge attack damage by a pretty significant amount. Now, previously the best sets on uh, Child, there were a few good ones. Bolide was the best if you could use the shield, because it would give you 40% normal and charge attack damage. Thunder Soother was good, but useless in Abyss. And... Um, like Noblesse was really good too. But now with this new Hydro set, uh, you basically get an effect similar to Bolide, right? Similar to that 40, you get a 30% increased uh, normal and charge attack damage. And on top of that, you also get Hydro damage bonus, so it's just better. And on top of that, if you are someone who still wants to run Noblesse on Child for just like a big uh, burst damage, which is what I like to do sometimes too, uh, the two-piece Hydro is still the best two-piece option. So no matter what, the set is just amazing. So yeah, overall, the two-piece and the four-piece are both really good. And now we're going to be talking about specific characters that can use the set. The first character I want to talk about is Sing Shu, who I've been leveling. And so this character has always been an amazing support. But now with the Heart of Death, what you can do is if you want, you can actually run two Heart of Death, two Noblesse Oblige, which will just give you so much damage on your Rain Swords uh, when you use your Elemental Burst. Basically, since this high energy recharge character will be spamming his ultimate, using all of those Rain Blades, proccing Vaporize, or letting your uh, Pyro DPS proc Vaporize, and just dealing a ton of damage with his Hydro Blades, um, having this bonus Hydro damage on your ultimate, as well as the two-piece Noblesse is just very, very good. So the Heart of Death does seem to be very good on him. However, you can still run four-piece Noblesse on like any support character, it's still good. So if you do want to run this on him, you can. But having two Noblesse and two Heart of Death, what it does is it lets you run Noblesse on another support. Let's say you run him with a Bennett. Uh, your Bennett might want the four-piece Noblesse. And then on this character, you can run two Hydro and two Noblesse. So for Mona, who I don't have, uh, there are actually calculations showing that the two-piece Wander and two-piece Noblesse is good on her, but two uh, Wander's Troop and two Noblesse is actually slightly higher burst damage. Uh, and there's a calculation video that I'm going to be linking in the description if you guys are interested. However, since I don't have her, I can't test this myself. The conclusion is basically Wander's two-piece is slightly better, but overall it's not a huge difference, so go with whatever has better substats, or if you're already farming the Hydro Domain, two-piece Hydro is still an amazing option, so something you can run on her uh, if you want. So for DPS, Barbara, I don't want to talk about her too much since I haven't tested her, but on paper, the new set seems good. However, do note that her elemental skill cooldown is very long. So yes, the Hydro Damage bonus and the Charge Attack Damage bonus is insane for a DPS Barbara if you want to run it. But uh, do note that her elemental skill has a long cooldown. So how would that would work in practice, you'd have to see, maybe run a sub DPS or something else. All right, now what you guys have been waiting for, we're going to talk about the set on Child. So as I briefly mentioned in my introduction, uh, the previous good sets are all outclassed by this one. Because even if you were previously running two-piece Noblesse, the other two-piece you want is Heart of Depth. And in terms of just a four-piece Heart of Depth, it's definitely the best set on Child, just because of the 30% attack damage, which as we saw, is very comparable to the four-piece Bolide. But now you even get that 15% Hydro damage bonus, which also buffs your ultimate, so it's just better in general. I honestly think this set was made for him. It's just an amazing, amazing set for Child. And just a quick note, I always use the four-piece Hydro set on Child, and in the DPS showcase, I'm always using it, except for one clip, which is where I'm using two Noblesse, two Hydro, which you guys saw in the intro where I crit 500k. And the reason for that is because for burst damage, obviously, um, Noblesse plus the new Hydro set is higher burst damage. And I like doing that to show the new burst with the new two-piece set uh, with the old two-piece. But in general, I'm always using the four-piece Hydro and that's what all the DPS showcase clips will be. Now I'm quickly gonna talk about the stats you want because I assume most of you are going to run it 
on child. So we're going to talk about that. Please note that my set isn't very good, however, because I'm still farming it. Like you can see, I do have a four star circlet with no good substats. Now this might help you guys see just how good the set is because I even record some clips where I don't use any supports. You'll see, but do note that my stats are pretty bad since this domain just came out and I haven't really had the time or the resin to farm it. So for your circlet, you either want crit damage or crit rate, ideally something uh, like this would well like this would be good where you have crit rate on top crit damage as a substat and in general on all your artifacts you want crit damage and crit rate as a substat if you can get it so my flower is my best artifact i have crit damage and crit rate my feather has crit damage and energy recharge which isn't terrible but um as i said the best are crit damage crit rate and then er em and attack percent are pretty nice too Hourglass, you definitely want attack percent. I've seen some people run Elemental Mastery if you're running a Vaporize comp, and yeah, that can work. But personally, and just for consistent DPS, I really like attack percent. And as you guys can see, like, yes, I have one good substat, but the other three are terrible, so I'm still working on it. And then for Goblet, you need Hydro Damage Bonus. No matter what your substats are, Hydro Damage Bonus is basically always better than attack percent, so just go for that. Also, you guys will notice, since I don't have a crit rate circlet, my uh, attributes here are very, very bad crit rate wise. So I am running a Verdescent Hunt, which is a very good option, but uh, I'm mainly running it for the crit rate despite having higher level weapons, um, like a higher level rust. But yeah, I don't wanna talk for too long, but overall the set is just amazing on them. You deal so much damage and is better than any other option overall, um, if you have the resin to grind for it, of course. And you guys will be able to see just how powerful it is because I am going to do a DPS showcase very shortly. Keep in mind, I'm only C1, which doesn't affect damage at all. Sorry for the background noise right now. I'll try to make this clip fast. But uh, yeah, basically the higher constellations do affect damage, but I'm only C1, so it won't really change the numbers you see at all. All right, now we're going to do floor 10 abyss. Uh, the main reason I'm doing floor 10 is because this is a floor that a lot of people have trouble with and that child is really good here. It doesn't give you any hydro bonuses, so just know that the damage won't be skewed. But since there are like pyro slimes and stuff, uh, it is a good place to take child. So that's what we're going to do. All right, watch the damage child is gonna deal with this mediocre build uh, with the new artifacts, of course, without any support characters. Let's go. Now keep in mind, no food, no potions, no support characters, nothing. Now let's try the same domain without buffs, but with support characters. Let's see what happens.
Okay, we hit 500k. Not bad. So yeah, guys, this set is pretty insane. Like, Child was an amazing DPS before the set, but now with the set, not only does it help other Hydro characters, but also helps Child be an even better DPS. I didn't really know how to make this video, so sorry if you wanted to see something that I didn't include, because I wanted to update my Child guide while also making a review on the new Hydro set, so I tried to kind of combine them, because that's what you guys uh, told me to do in my stream. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm always lurking in my Discord, so feel free to join if you guys want to come chat. And also, I stream pretty much daily now on my Twitch, so come check it out if you want. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for all the support. It's been crazy. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.